Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. Be careful. Wolves have the advantage in the dark. Not only can they see better, but they have a keen sense of smell as well. You'd better use your night vision goggles. It is so ironic. People are working as slaves to pay for weapons that must never be used. Weapons that target the people themselves. It is madness! Don't suddenly look into the dark. Look slowly from a light area to a darker area. If you do that, your eyes will gradually adjust and you'll be able to see better in the dark. Try not to play in the dark either. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? What's up, Snake? You said that you wanted to become a pilot. Did you take an aptitude test? Well, I've got bad eyes. I probably didn't know it, but I'm wearing contact lenses. So, you failed your aptitude test, huh? Yeah. It's ridiculous. We're not flying around in biplanes anymore, you know? That's right. Today's pilots fly jets that go several times the speed of sound. Exactly. At those speeds, the naked eye isn't that useful. You need sophisticated electronics to see what's really going on. So, is that why you developed your radar system? Yeah. I wanted to develop a radar system that would help soldiers make better, more informed decisions. So your radar shows what's really going on, huh? Mm, it depends on how you interpret it. Like beauty, truth is in the eye of the beholder. You can say that again.
It looks like Meryl's okay. Thanks, Snake. Snake, there's no time left. You've got to hurry up and get to the underground base. In the 20th century, in order to be a military superpower, you had to first be an economic superpower. But things changed toward the end of the century, after the collapse of communism. With all the surplus weapons and technology floating around, even economically weak countries could have a powerful military. You need to make snap decisions. In war, the difference between living and dying is counted in milliseconds. trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? 
I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Sniper Wolf is Foxhound's best sharpshooter. Everyone knows that women have more patience than men, but Sniper Wolf can go for a whole week with no sleep, no food, her sights never straying from her target. And on top of that, she takes diazepam so her hands never tremble. Stay out of her range and shoot at her with a sniper rifle. Yeah, but where can I find a sniper rifle? I can't ask Meryl. What about Dr. Emrick? He's been on the base for a while. He might know. Otacon, have you ever seen a sniper rifle anywhere on this base? A sniper rifle? Meryl's been shot by an extremely good sniper. Sniper? A high-quality sniper rifle is the only way I can fight back. I, uh, I saw a PSG-1 in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar. The second floor basement of the tank hangar? I have to go all the way back there? Well, yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? Uh, nothing. <laughs>